Hi everyone. This is just a follow-up to the um, critique from Ells Reptiles, E-L-L-E-S Reptiles. <clears throat> I submitted my cages to her and uh, her and her husband um, were nicely to be able to help me out as well as others that submitted their um, cages pictures that they sent and so forth so uh, check out that video where they did that uh, review but as you can see I have added extra substrate I use Aspen to my uh, yellow corn snake the uh, cold Kirby I put more uh, vegetation in there <clears throat> butter corn snake I couldn't think of the name but he's in hiding right now in his hide there. That white container at the top was a moist hide, but the, the moss already dried up, but he likes to stay in there for some reason. So I just leave it there for him. But otherwise than that, the cage is looking great. <clears throat> Here's the other one with the new corn snake. I don't have a name for her yet, but there she is peeking out. Hello girl, how are you? She's a very tiny little corn snake. Her, I just added this stick here that you can see here. Um, so she can have something to climb. But I didn't add any more aspen because I didn't want her getting lost in there and so forth since she's very tiny. <clears throat> the next one is uh, Shelby, which I have the lid off because I cleaned her cage, but hers is looking nice and she likes to go and explore and look at where she's at. There she goes. Hello, girl. How you doing, girl? See that? She's an adventurer. She'll always go exploring everywhere under the floor here, but I added more aspen to her cage as well. Added some more vegetation and put in that piece of wood to give her like a little extra coverage, but so she can lay on top there and crawl around there. And then finally, Dante. <clears throat> have this rather more vegetation and more aspen as well because this one really loves to burrow and as you can see the hole right there the hole right there he's already been burrowing and even in his hide in there um, he's been burrowing so he's the shy one gets a bit jittery uh, but Nonetheless, they seem to be happy and they have everything they need. I would think my next step would be to get some bigger cages for them because they do recommend 40 gallon cages for full grown corn snakes. These are 20 gallon cages that I have and I have the thermostats all hooked up to the heat mat underneath. 